A P C accounting for your future. Hi, this is Dave from A P C, and I'm the course director here with A P C, and um. I mean, it's just one month before we have the ACCA paper F5 performance management exams. And I know some of you are so anxious. I know some of you haven't prepared the F5 really well, but I know that most of you have prepared the F5 perfectly. Uh, but in this particular phase, just before the exams, uh, what I like to do is I'm going to revise a few topics which may pop up in the coming exam together with you, so you don't feel really lonely. Uh, just revise the topics, the boring topics on your own, but you can revise that together with me. And one of the topical areas within the paper F5, performance management, which is, I assume, that will be the, uh, I mean, the more advanced management accounting based upon the F2 knowledge, is about the budget. So let's start talking about the budget here. So what do I mean by budget is where we're going to look forward. That's it. So budget to do something is where we're going to think what would be in the future. So we're going to, for example, we're going to budget the money that we're going to spend to buy the raw material, the money that we're going to pay for our staff, um, and we're going to budget, for example, how much we're going to invest into buying the non current assets as well, whatever name you want. Budget looking to the future but uh, to some extent is uh, looking backwards as well because when we're doing the budget normally what we uh, are going to do is we're going to base the future actions on the past and one of the ways that we're going to do the budget is called, is called the ZBB or we can call it as the zero based budgeting So, as you can see, the name zero based is not past based. It's based upon zero to do the budget. So, normally the ZBB will assist in the business environment where you are in the marketing department. or maybe the research and development department when doing the research analysis of different projects uh, as well as the technology. And also for uh, some of the non-profit making organisations, ZBB will work as well. So what do I mean by ZBB? Is where we're going to do the budget not based upon the past, we're going to base it upon zero. So what has done in the past? Absolutely fine, but we're going to ignore it. We're going to focus on the future, what's the best opportunity for our company. So for example, um, if I'm going to launch a new product, uh, which is new to the marketplace, no one else in the marketplace has known it before. As a result of it, how much money are we going to spend into marketing our product? Because we haven't got the experience before, so that we are going to use the ZBB and we're going to examine the options in the future. For example, we can advertise it in the Google adverts, we can advertise it in the TV, we can advertise, advertise it in the Facebook, but we haven't done it in the past, so no past information is available. So what we're going to do is well, we're going to see well, which option would generate the higher benefit. So for example, if we are going to advertise in Facebook, we can get $10, if we're going to advertise in TV, we can only get $1. So what I'm going to do is to spend a majority of my resources into advertising in the Facebook, for example. That's what I mean by ZBB. The basic idea behind the ZBB is where we're going to ignore the past and we're going to only focus upon the future. And the way that we're going to do it is we're going to examine quite a lot of these options to compare the costs associated with the benefits of each option may uh, bring us to and we're going to persuade the management or the shareholders to give us money, to give us budget to spend on those areas. Okay, so that's it. So that's for the ZBB. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. This is quite a topical area that comes up again and again in the exams in the paper F5 where the examiner is going to ask you, well, what is the ZBB advantages and disadvantages of them? Okay. 
and looking forward to seeing you again in the next of our video and um, more importantly best of luck into your coming paper F5 exam. APC, accounting for your future.